Okay, Friday in the Kingdom, and it's kind of warm out here. Yeah, it's still in the minuses. It went to minus 10 or something last night. But look at that, no gloves. Not even the Grinch gloves. Okay, this morning at 7 a.m., it was minus 7 Celsius, but feels like minus 11. But I can feel the warm sun on the side of my face, eh, through my fuzzy wuzzies. It's warm. Okay, on the S scale, minus 19. Yeah. But feels like 12. Ooh, that feels so warm, eh? Yeah. Okay, but it's finally Friday. All right. So here we are in the kingdom. We got ruts everywhere. We're making a mess, but that's all part for the course. We do it now because it's going to get muddier in the kingdom. We're supposed to be getting all these snowstorms, which the people in Winnipeg and Saskatchewan seem to be getting. They're taking our snow, our fun, our, our livelihood. Yeah, we're going to have to complain. It's the Swedish kids' fault because we got all this nice weather, clear skies up here. And those people in the south with resale value on their homes are getting all the snow. And they don't want it. Oh, the world is screwed up. Okay, we put the plane. The wing from the plane is up there. Look at that. Oh, up there. Look at that. We stuck it in the trees to get it out of the road. The recording studio right there so I can go live on YouTube to my two followers that are will listen to me not away. I mean chat to the world if I go live is in extension cord reach. It'll have to be a warm day for going live because it's like it's not really warm in there. It's just got that little heater, eh? So like it can't be like 40 below. Okay. But also too, we got the cats all lined up here. Yes, they're IH cats. And I deleted all my posts on the Facebook page for International Harvester because the spammers and the trolls are got just nitpicking because I call them IH cats. Well, if you want to sit there and write a long paragraph how Caterpillar is a trademark name or cat is tra trademark name to Caterpillar, instead of, uh, you know, uh, complimenting me for 40 years to keeping cats running, starting them in cold weather, running these cats, you know, that's what I said. Fuck it. I deleted the post. You can go screw yourselves. Yeah, I got an attitude. I've had enough of this. I'm getting old. When people want to sit there and nitpick on the little things, you know, I share knowledge to keep these cats up and running. I just get so pissed off when people just want to sit there and nitpick. The Karens of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a grouchy mood. It's Friday. My back hurts. Oh, and I have to work today. The staff needs the money. So we have to work today to keep going here. All right. But the... Ground looks a lot better there after I ripped out that steel. That's all recyclable steel. We'll show you what we're going to do with it. But it's coming along nice. We're going to have to put a little backfill in there before we put the other two tanks in to mount them on sleighs. Yes, let's scroll this way. Oh, look at those sleighs. They're going to be full of sleigh parts. So when we move out of here, you know, to down south to where there's snow, all the sleighs parts will be inside the tanks on the sleighs, right? Easier to load, eh? Instead of loading the sleigh and then load the tank and then go back and take everything out of the shed and throw it in a semi-trailer or whatever. No. Load the sleigh, load the tank with the parts in. One one trip, one one movement. It only took me 30 years to figure that out. All right. So the welding sleigh is there so we can weld with it and work on the tanks, okay? Oh, my God. It's so bright out here. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Okay, I don't know if you guys missed the wood stove going there. Just for the Swedish kid. Started for the intros. All right. Okay, it's too bright. I think the boss is coming. We better go do something. I'm not in a happy mood. Maybe I need a better brand of vodka, eh? All right. The boss is coming. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, shop's nice and warm because we're putting all this scrap wood in the wood stove. Yes, anything that can be cut with a skill saw fits nicely in the wood stove. Stove! to recycle, to burn, to heat the place. The, that will impress the Swedish kid. Yes, we do not cut trees down in the forest because one, we need a permit, two, it costs too much money, and three, we live in Stalin's Russia. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, the staff is emptying out this gas shed, but for the first 10 years or five years of its life, it was the scale shack when we did scrap metal, and we had our own electric electronic scale for measuring scrap. So we had the instruments in here and everything for running the scale. But nowadays, the trucks all have airbags and air gauges or whatever, so you don't really need it. So the staff will empty this out, and hopefully we'll get it recycled today.
Okay, today's project is to get something in the shop in case we actually do get a spring snowstorm, which the south seems to be hoarding or hogging them all. Okay, so this is the welding table. It'll be going in the shop. And over here, we got to pick out the pieces for a swivel bunk, okay? So everything was laid out back in 2020 during the COVID lockdown. So everybody else was drinking beer and falling down and boo-hooing while they were locked down. I was getting organized. So when I get older, or for this time now, when I'm losing my mind and half drunk all the time, it's easy to pick out the pieces of steel needed to build the swivel bunks. Okay, I better get to work. I'm getting thirsty. Okay, that did not take long to strip the tin off because they used those uh, pop rivets or hilti gun rivets or something to just shoot that into the steel. And today's in today's world, it'll be screw gun with self-tapping screws with rubber washers on them. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're going to start the plasma cutter and get some recycled steel. Okay, quitting time in the kingdom and we did what we wanted to do today. We got the welding table inside the shop here. 
And we have two swivel bunks on the rack here, or on deck, and we have the sheet metal over there. Yes, that's a petroleum tank, as you can see by the tire tracks. We smoothed out by driving over it because it was in a curved, for, curved shape, even after you cut it. Okay, we got Aggie stump pad from the little TD6, but he has a big hole in there to drain the oil. So up here in the Great White North, trees go in there, so we have to fill in that hole so we don't have trees going into the oil pan. And then this is the stump pan that we're going to put on one of the twins, but it came broken a long, long time ago. So I cut that panel out probably 25 years ago, so I think we'll weld it in. You know, get this to-do list finished. And we have the toolbox or the shelves for the building the skis all wrapped up. So it's in the shop, so we'll have to figure out how it's going to work or how we can incorporate it into the building or this welding table. Okay, let's check to see how we made out outside. Okay, one of the joys of a mini hole, it fits anywhere because it can only be four feet, it's so four feet wide or whatever. I bought it to fly under a helicopter. That's a long story, we'll tell about it, talk about it later. So the shed off, the door off that steel shed fits nicely in here where we had a nice fancy expensive door to which we removed and put it in the staff's house. But seeing how crime is running rampant in the streets here, just like in the film Megamind, we must lock everything, eh? Oh yes, welcome to Whoville. Okay, we got a little bit of shelves there to go in Trader One with all the other parts. And then over here, we got a picture of that chrome just as shining on that 46. Oh my, we have to go for a drive to Dairy Queen pretty soon. Okay, over here on Monday, the staff will have to be sober and throw all that steel off the pallet that we recycled off that one shed into the steel shed. We got the water tank back on the water trader so we can go get some water when I want to need or need a bath for bath and treat night. And over here, Look at the flag exercise in his natural state of being limp. Oh, pardon me, the non-flag of Alaska. Okay, let's go walk the dogs, pick up the pony and the rescue puppy, and then drink some beer, because it's Friday. Thank God we made her. Talk to you later. Well, here we go again. Friday. The boss wants this trailer emptied before we go home for the day. Of course, we have to drag out this 39 Chevy parts truck again. This is the fourth time in six months we've had to use the green toy and the forklift to get it out. I don't know what the boss is thinking. He's such an asshole. Okay, it's a little windy out here now, so there's no mosquitoes. It's like growing up in the south, or today it feels like I'm growing up in the south with being a skinny little kid with rocks in my pockets. We had to unload all these tires to find the rims for the new tires that are arriving for the 45 and 46 Chevy trucks. Okay, I dragged the 39 parts truck over to the lineup here, so all the curved cabs are all lined up. Looks pretty impressive for pictures. Now I get to unload all these parts and put them on the shelves. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I got my Lily Tom and Mike on the, my chinny chin chin. But we got to put these parts into the van trailer here. And the boss was nice enough and bought some yellow bolt bins or containers. So he's going all up on budget on this project. He probably bought them 10 years ago and repurposing them. So now I'll hide in here out of the wind. More to come. Well, we did it. With about 10 minutes to spare for 5 o'clock quitting time on a Friday. So now we can go drink some beer. So we did find the hood for the 41 Chevy truck, so I'm going to need this weekend. We kind of organized what we got here. We have extra shelving, which is good. And at my age, we put them all, all the parts on the shelves where I can reach them without my back hurting, bending over. But we got everything organized for the trucks. It's all looking good. And seems how we had to recycle some bins there. I cut some uh, tags there and made them fit, so it looks good. 
but it only took two days and we're organized, so now we can increase production, as the boss would say. Now it's time to go drink some beer and relax. Talk to you later.